Hey, what is happening, my friends? I hope you are having a blast in Shadow of the Earth Tree. I bring you today an insane strength build for early DLC with a weapon that is freaking OP, making you a force to be reckoned with. Abuse of guard counters, stance break, and powerful and long reach as a war. A crazy block power that you won't need a shield, paired with the new DLC talisman and tier to top it off. And the most exciting part is that this new weapon, armor, talisman, and tier of this build can be found early in the DLC so you can get OP right from the start. Let's go, game on! Before we continue, be aware that this is a DLC build, so some footage that you are about to see are from new enemies and bosses, and I will only show how to get the new items of Shadow of the Earth Tree. This build is a really big improvement from my pre-DLC Soren board build and it revolves around the Great Sword of Solitude. You can find it when defeating the Black Jail Knight inside the Western Nameless Mausoleum in the starting zone of the DLC. To get there from the starting graveside plain side of grace, uh, you ride northwest to an area that has some dead trees and then at the end of those blue glowing worms. The Great Sword of Solitude can feel overpowered because it has great attack power right from the bat and has low requirements, and when max, scales A with strength and D with dexterity, and also an impressive 89 physical damage negation that will remove the need of using this sword with any shield, so you just can't abuse guard counters with it while two-handing it. Not even the Iron Greatsword comes close with a 73 physical damage negation, and the Greatsword has a great 58 guard boost that again, no other Greatsword comes closer to this number. And to top it off, the default Ash of War called Solitary Moonslash is a beast. It looks like it was an intelligence Greatsword, but it's not. That initial forward arc of light has great reach, power, and the possibility of a follow-up strong forward slash that covers a lot of ground closing in on enemies causing great physical and poise damage. The moveset of the Great Sword of Solitude is very versatile, allowing you to do great damage to single targets and swarms alike. And with the help of a few old and new talisman and the tiers for the physique class, you can abuse the guard counter's mechanic to render the enemies useless while you receive little damage. So guys, if you think the Great Sword of Solitude is already OP, please help me make my channel also OP with the power of your click. Hit the like button and subscribe, that will help the channel a ton and it will mean a lot to me, thank you. The armor that I'm using is the new Oathseeker Knight armor set, comprised of helm, chest, gauntlets and greaves, that for any Souls game it just looks right. And it's really easy to get, you just have to ride for a little bit, starting from the three pass cross side of grace just north of the starting graveside plane side of grace, that's where you start, then follow this path to get to the end of the Church of Benediction. This armor looks awesome, but the only problem with this is that it doesn't bring you to 51 poise, so you will have to swap pieces if you want, or use the bull goat's talisman, like I'm doing, to get to that sweet 51 poise. The talismans I'm using are the curved sword talisman that will increase the guard counter damage by 20%. Next is the bull goat's talisman that raises our poise by 33% to get to that sweet 51 poise. Next is the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman that will reduce physical damage taken by 20%. This talisman, in my opinion, is a must now in the Shadow of the Earth Tree because all enemies hit like a freaking truck. And this can help with Survivor in case you don't have enough vigor or you're not using the Scattered Tree Blessings for extra defense. Next is the Blade of Mercy. This is a new talisman that will increase the attack power by 20% for 20 seconds after each critical hit. 
which is essential in this build because you're gonna abuse the stance breaking and guard counters and do a lot of critical hits. It can be found in the Scorch Ruins, that's the first town you encounter northeast of the first side of Grace when you enter DLC, and it's inside a chest at the very top, if you climb through the Claw's rooftop with turret. For the Physique Flask, I'm running with the new Deflecting Heart tier. This is a new DLC tier that will increase the heavy attack damage as well as poise damage you do when doing a guard counter after a successful deflect. When you execute a spontaneous guard or that block when you're about to get hit, a visual flash indicator and a sound cue will happen. It lasts 5 minutes and it drops when you kill the first Furnace Golem in the main road, passing the Scorch Ruins. Don't be afraid of this enemy, it looks like you're not doing any damage, but once you learn his attacks and know that you can jump after each stomp to evade the fire, you are golden. But don't get caught by his sweep grab, stay always under him. Next is the stone bar crack tier that will increase your stance damage by 30% and your stamina damage to blocking enemies by 30% as well. In this build, strain and vigor are the main stats, follow up by endurance. The class that I'm using in this build is a wretch, but you can use a hero or a vagabond. This character level is 150 and has the attributes as follows. Vigor at 60, because in the DLC enemies are tough and you need a good base health. Mine at 15, uh, this will result in a good amount of FP points if you plan to use often the solitary moon slash as of war. Endurance at 35, so you can use the old Seeker Knight set with the Great Sword of Solitude and have a good stamina pool to do consecutive attacks and guard counters to break enemy stance. Strength at 74, this is the main stat for your weapon damage since Great Sword of Solitude scales A with strength and will almost reach the third strength soft cap. Dexterity at 15, Intelligence, Faith, and Arcane are left and untouched uh, because I'm not using any spells or incantations. So guys, that's the wrap up for this insane and OP strength build using the awesome and early weapon Great Sword of Solitude. Hope this build can make your life easier in Shadow of the Earth Tree and we'll surely have an upgraded version if there are new items that can synergize with this build later on. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe and as always, take care, be safe and see you on the next video. Ciao!